Hey guys, so today I wanted to show you my Louis Vuitton desk agenda setup and I've had this for a few weeks now, maybe three, and um, I know you guys have been really interested if you follow my Instagram to see more of this. So at first I was like, oh, I probably have more things to set up, but I'm feeling really good about it and it's pretty minimal. There's not a lot of deco in it um, and I can't imagine that it's going to change much soon. So um, real quick, I'll show you what I have in here. I do have a disc bound notebook as well as a Stalogy notebook in the back. So I'm gonna open it up. And this is currently on three quarter inch Levenger Rose Gold discs. And I'll share a link to those so you can find them easily. And um, this little flap thing is a like a clear plastic from cloth and paper so this is the anniversary girl dashboard from my own shop so that's available to order if you would like um, and the, there's still a handful of bundles left too um, which include this really cute t-shirt with um, cute calligraphy from calligraphy by Lindsay um, so I will leave those orders open until the end of the month um, this is from cloth and paper it was like a special uh, version she did for her workshop at the Chicago Planner Conference. And then this is paper source paper that I laminated that I just am obsessed with. And this is a rose colored days pocket. And this is a picture of me and my husband. And then this is from sequence and paper and cloth and paper. And the sticker is from a happy planner thing. And this is from SM Plans and I love this. And I'm using it to track my um, like time off from work and stuff. And then these are the new um, black plastic dividers with white foil from cloth and paper, which I love. And then I have the SM Plans half letter monthly inserts. So um, this is May. And then this is June. And I've been using like the front as like an inbox. I think I showed you that, yeah. And then I have the rest of the year in there as well. These inserts I love, they're just so pretty. And then I have this cloth and paper sticky note um, with like a list of different random things that I want to buy sooner rather than later. And then in the list section, I have this wish list tracker also from Cloth and Paper um, with just kind of more long term purchasing things that I want. Um, a gift ideas page. I have some other people and stuff that I'm going to add to this. And then a beauty appointment tracker, a general list tracker for like restaurants that I want to go to, trips that I want to go on, stuff like that. Um, this reading list from SM Plans. Oh, and this master list is from Infinite Lotus Co. And I do have codes for cloth and paper, Infinite Lotus Co. and SM Plans so you can save money on your order. And then this is the project section. Um, so originally I was going to put my like shop planning stuff in here, but I decided not to do that because I'm trying to use the Hobonichi weeks for my shop planning. Um, and I think that's going well. I don't know. We'll we'll see. Um, and then this die cut is one of my favorites from Banana Doodle Shop. And then this is the capsule capsule wardrobe planning insert from Cloth and Paper. I did a video a while back on this setup, but I think it's really cool. So I'm gonna update this since finally now it's gonna be spring. And then I just took this plain gray paper to like make a page for home projects. Um, so I need to fill that out. And then um, I have a finance section. Um, and what I have in here, I won't show you like specifically all the details, but I have SM plans inserts again um, for savings trackers for like fun things. So as you can see here, this is a savings tracker for um, Christmas. So essentially if you do like sinking funds or anything like that, that's kind of the concept for it so that I can um, keep an eye out on saving up for some of those big events throughout the year. And then, um, yeah, I'm really bad at that. So, <laughs> um, I also have a payment tracker in here. Um, so I guess I'll show you this one. And um, for my credit cards, and I just want to be able to hold myself more accountable to paying off our debt. My husband and I are really trying hard to do that. So um, yeah, we're working on that. And then the next section is the um, goals and ideas is what the tab says. But then I 
made this kind of like a fitness and health section um and i love this card it's from push print studio so she's like a principal shop for like uh project life type scrapbooking cards but she has so much cute stuff and then this is sm plans again um peanuts planner co this is a cloth and paper sticky note which i think is really cute so that's like my key for what all the symbols mean um and then obviously i've been sucking at this so i need to get that together um and then i might put some other inserts like you know, grocery, a grocery guide or something like that. I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. And then this last section is miscellaneous. So I have these really pretty cloth and paper notes pages. Um, this travel insert from SM Plans. I don't think I printed it exactly the way that she designed it, but I kind of like this um, way. And then she has a packing list to go with it, but I haven't printed that out because I don't know when our next trip is gonna be and it probably won't be till like October, besides kind of like weekend stuff. Um, and then just some tool grid note paper. And then this final piece, this is a pocket from Staples, I think the Martha Stewart line. And then like the zipper part came off the other day. So I just have to like pull it open and closed, but I have some stickers from my shop and then I'm trying to keep track of like different coupons and stuff. So I put them in here. So I always see them because like our grocery store sends us coupons and then like I sometimes get really good Michael's coupons in the mail and I never use them. So, um, yeah, that's there. And then this back section, I'm sure you guys are all excited to see, is my A5 Astology. And I do have a clear Midori cover on it. I think it's intended for like a, the full year Astology, but this is the half year. But it still fits okay. Like you can see there's some room. But I'm sure once I like start filling it up, it'll need the space. So I'm fine with that. And then I covered the inside cover with that paper that I love again. And then this card is from Cloth and Paper. This is the planner spot. This is vellum from my shop. Oh my God, I can't turn the page. And all the washi tape here is from Simply Gilded. This is from the Honey Bee Shop and I just like blew it up so that I can um, do this again because I just love this combo for some reason. I'm just obsessed. Um, I've had this set up in my B6 Stallergy too. Um, and then I wanna put something cute on this front page but I haven't like quite decided that yet. So this is my main overview page, a habit tracker, a spending tracker. And then this was just kind of like a practice run to see what the week would look like on one page. This week I actually used on one page and I really liked it. Um, this week I was off from work. So I did this kind of like week overview a little bit differently and then planned out the days. Um, and this I tried to do like a time to see what I would like about it. This sticky note is literally just like my brain dump from today. And then this is this past week. So that's where we are right now. And then I'll show you real quick what I have in the back. Um, because the Louis Vuitton desk agenda doesn't have a um, pen loop, I actually took this card from the cloth and, or sorry, from the planner spot subscription and then stuck, oh my God, stuck this, um, pen thingy to it and I've been keeping my pen in it and it works great. Um, also, this is funny because I just wrote, why is this grid tiny? And then I wrote the measurements of the page out there so I could remember and then I think I was pen testing something here. Um, yeah, because for some reason the Stalogy A5 grid is smaller than the A5 or the B6 and the A6 version and I think that's so you can set a 24 hour timeline on the side if you want to. And then last but not least, this is a like planner band from Erin Condren. And I cut off like the Erin Condren tag. So um, yeah, so I just keep this back here in case I want to like loop it closed. So I'm put this over here and like that. And then I can close that if I want to. Um, so I'm really just excited about this planner setup. Um, I feel really good about it because I love the Stalogy for like everyday planning and having everything in one book. And then I think having the reference stuff more separated in the disc bound setup is just really great. So it's really simple, it's nothing crazy. Oh, and these stickers are from the planner spot as well. I don't know if she still carries them, but um, I like them. And 
yeah, I think it's just like a really good system for me and it's simple, it's not too complicated. Um, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, also, let me talk about what's on the front of my salad. I totally forgot. This is Simply Gilded Washi. Um, this is the Dream Plan Do Vinyl by Calligraphy by Lindsay. That's um, exclusive to my anniversary bundle. Um, and again, that's still available if you want it. And then um, until the end of May. And then this is a vinyl that Gina Michelle Plan sent me. And I think it's so pretty. It's like pink glitter. Um, so that's there too. So I'm super, super excited about that. I might put more stuff here, but we'll see how it goes as we go. Um, so that's a look at my Louis Vuitton desk agenda setup. I hope you guys liked it and found it helpful. If you have any questions for me, um, please let me know in the comments below. And then I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.